What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over the Terralith Minecraft mod. Exploring is a huge part of the game, and it's a great way for you to get new ores, loot valuable items, and more. But after doing this time and time again, you might be getting bored with your options, which is where Terralith comes in, a mod that is going to add over 100 new biomes and areas to explore. To start the download, head to Terralith on CurseForge and then click Files near the top. And after that, scroll down and find the desired game version, and then click the three dots to the right and click Download File. Save this somewhere easy to get to on your computer. Depending on your desired setup, like if you're running a Fabric game, you're also going to need to download Crystal Lib, Unfix Seeds, and Fabric API. Now before you start the client install, you have to make sure to download either Forge or Fabric onto your launcher. Once that's done, open your Minecraft launcher and click on Installations near the top. And once you're there, find your previously installed modded profile and select the folder icon. In the new window, find and enter the mods directory, and then you can drag and drop the mod file or files into the folder and return to the launcher. Similar to the client install, you'll also have to make sure you're running a matching version of Forge or Fabric on the server. After that, head towards the server and click FTP file access near the top left, log in, and then find the mods directory and click upload on the next page. Drag and drop the mod file or files into the upload area, and once they reach 100%, you can return to the main panel and generate a new world so that everything works. After that, restart the server to start loading it and then you can join. When you enter, you might find yourself in a new biome or an old one, but either way, as soon as you start exploring, you'll start to see some of the new additions. If you do spawn into a vanilla biome, this is normal and the first step towards your new adventure is going to be collecting basic resources. Keep doing this until you're satisfied, and then you can explore the world to find the new environments. Some of these will be dangerous, while others are peaceful and abundant in resources. If you're wanting to test out Terralith to see what it offers, you can also always use cheats or become a server operator to run the forward slash locate command to find specific biomes and structures. Due to the immense amount of biomes from this mod, I'm only going to cover a few, but remember there are over 100 added, though some of them are just variations of vanilla. While roaming around in the world, you might see a large darkened mountain with flowing lava. These areas are known as volcanic peaks with some other similar environments nearby. This is an example of a hostile biome from the Terralith mod, since there aren't any trees or too many resources other than dangerous blocks to avoid. The good news is this is somewhat of a rare environment to come across. Instead of a dangerous biome, alpine groves are a combination of forested and snowy environments with lots of unique blocks. There's plenty of calcite and coarse dirt nearby, which complements the surrounding terrain. Despite there being no lava, it can still be considered challenging to navigate through due to the mountainous area with snow blocks, which is supposed to simulate an alpine environment. If you're wanting a truly modded experience, Amethyst Canyons and its other variations are going to be perfect. These have a wide range of terrain, trees, and vegetation. There's plenty of resources to collect and admire, making this an ideal place to build a base. Besides this, some leaves are retextured to be purple, resembling amethyst crystals. And as the name suggests, blooming valleys are full of wildlife and vegetation to enjoy. There will be large trees, an abundance of flowers, and other interesting blocks to collect. This is essentially an enhanced forest from vanilla Minecraft with some unique structures nearby if you're lucky. The vast majority of these biomes are flat, but normally they're surrounded by mountains or hills, which can create the perfect environment for a base or camps to rest while exploring in the world. Continuing on, new structures may also appear on the horizon. These can range from houses, huts, or large objects. It depends on the type of biome you're currently roaming around, since some will only be exclusive to a few. These structures might contain villagers to interact and trade with, leading to unique experiences if you breed them. By default, these NPCs will have jobs and they won't require you to assign them one. You can also take advantage of its lootable barrels or chests. As for the kind of loot to find, there's enchanted and normal equipment. Whether you find a strong iron pickaxe or a normal chest plate, there are plenty of resources to gather, and some of the loot might be valuable ingots, basic blocks, 
food items, or enchanted books. As you continue to move, you'll find more and more to explore, but combining the Terralith mod with others might produce even better results, and it'll give you even more than you can imagine. For example, Biomes Aplenty and Oh the Biomes You'll Go are compatible and should work with the mod. Additionally, most structure mods that add new buildings or dungeons should be fine too, but be careful not to overload the world or the server. Now before we jump into the common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If you can't find any new biomes in the mod, then make sure you're generating a new world. This can be done by renaming your current map from the world section in the panel and then restarting the server to generate a new one. If you're still having problems, double check that you successfully uploaded the mod files into the mods directory from the FTP panel and try using the forward slash locate command to see if that helps you find any. If the world isn't loading, make sure you're only using compatible mods. Remember, Biomes of Plenty and Oh the Biomes You'll Go are officially compatible, while others may run into problems. In cases where you can't join the server, check that Terralith and any other files are transferred into the local mods directory. Additionally, you have to install Forge or Fabric on the client too, depending on your setup. Biomes are some of the best additions in Minecraft, but even those can start to get boring eventually. Thankfully, with Terralith, it'll take you a long time to explore all of these, and you'll always have something new to find. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.